Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the error code 0x8024807 in Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Now to do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on this category. Now in here select other troubleshooters and now the last thing you have to do in this window is to click the run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards you can just close this window, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to verify the Windows installer in the services app. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type services and then select it as an application from the search results. And now in here as you can see the list is quite big and if you want to find the specific service just make sure to click on a random one then simply type the first letter of the service you're looking for. In our case it's W. Now from here on just scroll down until you find the Windows installer service, double click on it and in here make sure that the service status is running. Otherwise if it's not running just click on the start button and then you can close this window and head over to the Windows update service. Just scroll down until you find the Windows update service, double click on it and then in here as you can see the startup type is set to automatic in my case. So make sure that this is also set up in your case. Click on the drop down menu and select the automatic option to have no problems whatsoever in case the service status is stuck. This will ensure that your service will always run properly. Now you can just close these windows, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to clear the Windows Update Cache. Now to do this press the Windows button and once again type in services and then select it as an application from the search results. And then again locate the Windows Update service, so click on a random one then type in the first letter that corresponds to the service you're looking for, in our case it's W then scroll down until you find Windows Update, open up this service by double clicking on it and now the next move is to simply stop this service because we have to fiddle with some settings. So just click on the stop button to stop the service and now we have to clean some files. Now you can close these windows, then open up an instance of File Explorer and head over to the default drive which is the C drive and in here scroll way down until you find the Windows folder, double click on it and then locate the Software Distribution folder. Just scroll way down until you locate it, double click on it to access it and the last thing you have to open up in here is the download folder, then select all these files, press Shift and Delete and delete all of them by clicking on the Yes button. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to run an SFC scan. Now to do this press the Windows button, type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. And now in this CMD window make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below and then make sure to press on enter. Note that this can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Just wait until everything is finished and then close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to run a system restore. Now to do this press the windows button then simply type RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search result. Now in the system restore settings make sure to click on next then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and once again click on next and lastly select the finish button to start the restoration procedure. And from here on just wait until the procedure is finished and then you can check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware, which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.